in computer bridge there is this thing called double dummy analysis what double dummy analysis means is that the computer will look at all hands in the deal and compute the possibility of over tricks or under tricks uh, based on a card being played you can use this to analyze any hand that you have a problem with. And I'm going to show you how. First, you start a practice table. Teaching table, like so. And you start. Now, you can sit yourself on opposite sides and a robot on the other side, or you can sit yourself on all sides. It depends on what you want to do. So in this case, I'm going to sit myself on north-south and put the robots on east-west. I go to my history and locate the board in question. So for example, I locate this board. All right, and I then export it to upload deal to table. As you can see, the deal is now replicated on the teaching table. I should now proceed to bid. I can bid exactly as I bid uh, in the history, or I can bid differently. It doesn't really matter. So let's say I'm going to bid exactly as how I had bid uh, in this board. And I just simply wish to see how it might have played out differently. So I finished the bidding and the robot makes a lead. At this point, I can now go to the menu and select the item called Show Double Dummy. A num numbers will now appear. A green number will show the number of over tricks from the declarer's point of view. So for example, if uh, you are defending, one would show number of plus tricks if you play that card for east west in this case the one against the ace or the king of hearts indicates that based upon the current double de dummy analysis you will win one extra trick as declarer in two hearts north and if you play a three you would be equal, no extra tricks. Like so. And the numbers will keep on showing up. Now, if you chose another hand to export, like so and again show double dummy you will see a, a different colored set of buttons come up here the numbers in red indicate how many tricks you would go down by playing that card. Having said that, once you play a card, it doesn't mean that you definitely will go down by two tricks. The numbers will change as you play. For instance, uh, using a trivia example, if I were to play the three of clubs now, uh, analysis indicates that I would lose three tricks 
if I did that. Of course, in this case, it's a, a ridiculous play because I'm playing from low from uh, five clubs to a not very good singleton on the opposite side and my opponents have uh, king, uh, ace, king, queen. All right, but this shows you clearly that the numbers can change depending on the path that I take in playing the cards. So you can actually rehearse scenarios to yourself over and over again to see uh, what would happen if you uh, play a certain sequence of cards. Of course, doing it this way doesn't tell you why playing a card, a particular card or a sequence of cards would work. For that, you need probably the assistance of your senior or your teacher. But certainly, this option will allow you to examine the various scenarios and then to ask clarifying questions of yourself, your teacher, or your friends as to why uh, a particular line of play would work or wouldn't work. Thanks.